What's going on guys, Kai Vox here and welcome to another new Wands Day. Today's new Wands Day is gonna be a little bit different like usual because I feel like every new Wands Day is always a little bit different, right? So this one's gonna be a little bit different in um, we're just gonna talk about some new Wands that I have coming up. They should pretty much all be up on the shop. If you don't see them on there, they probably already sold. Um, you can just check to see if they already sold or not. There's a sold section, just see if it's on there. If it is, I'm sorry you missed it. But anyway, I have, um, I think six wands to show you guys. So this new wands day is gonna mostly be focused on my wands. I'm sorry to you guys. Um, I will, I keep promising you guys things, but I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna just stop right, I'm gonna just stop right there because I can't promise you exactly when the next, I have a couple of other videos that are coming out sooner. But um, let's just let's just talk about the wands. If you guys want to submit your wands, feel free submit them to the new wands day at gmail.com. Just send them there from any other email. Some of you guys get confused and you're like, I don't have a Gmail account. I can't send you that. And I'm like, well, I can't help you, man. I'm sorry if you can't figure it out. So let's start off with uh, a canary wood wand, which I haven't made a canary wood wand in in a in a in a little bit in a little while. Um, this one's a pretty simple design. It's uh, there's there's nothing too crazy fancy about it. Um, I kind of started off almost like uh, looking like a rifle. You can kind of see that it, it kind of has a rifle-y shape to it. It's extremely comfortable this way. And um, with all these little rounded uh, notches on them, you kind of can put your fingers anywhere. It's almost like it's made for um, made to be held in uh, in so many different ways. It's 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 pretty fun. It's a fun wand. The uh, the grip is super easy to just find. You really don't you don't have to worry about anything. I like to hold it thumb here. It almost has a perfect cutout for a thumb. So I like to kind of hold it like that. And then obviously fingers kind of just find their own place there. And it gives you really good uh, weird grip. The way that this wand was made was uh, pretty much just cutting it cutting the rough blank out. Um, and then going in with a, uh, a rounded sanding bit or uh, sander um, and then just kind of cutting out all of these grooves. I try to go a little bit deeper on some of them to make them not look too, um, too uniform and make them look a little bit more um, natural looking. Even though these, these shapes are not natural at all, um, it still looks more organic and, and I'm pretty happy with this wand. It's probably, it was probably the simplest wand to make out of all of these, but definitely one of the uh, the cooler looking ones. Almost looks like stone. Like this area almost looks like kind of stone and chiseled away. This next one is made out of Osage. Um, I believe it's orange Osage, which is the same thing that my wand is made out of. Um, and this one's a little weird because it's it's very, very burnt. I kind of just went, I went ham on the burning on this one. Um, I got the general shape of it. Maybe some people would have liked it better if it wasn't burnt, but I really like how Osage kind of turns orange almost, like a like a darker orange, because it's almost like a mustardy yellow. This the, the natural color for it is like a mustardy yellow. And then it kind of turns orange and then obviously starts turning black. It also catches very fast, very easily. It doesn't go too um it doesn't go too crazy there when it comes to uh resisting the heat but you can see it has all these little cracks and nooks and then i actually went in and um i actually went in and added a little bit of silver uh silver paint i like to do that whenever i burn something not always just sometimes when it gets to this far burnt out um, i like to do it because it, it kind of makes it look like like there's a little bit of ash on it like I, it's obviously not and it's not going to come off on your fingers um because it is it is uh cleared over but it, it almost, it makes it look a lot more fragile and a lot more like it's gonna fall apart on your hand. It's a super light wand. And um, if you can see here, it kind of dips in a little bit and then straightens back out. Um, the blade is also a square blade and then the handle is nice and round and has this weird little twist going on to it. Um, and it's another simple design. This part right here was a little bit harder. It looked pretty good, um, not burnt, but I just kind of wanted to give it a little bit of wear and tear and make it look a little bit more just beat up, you know? So I burnt it. But I do like the fact that the uh, the blade is, is square. I don't make a lot of square blades. Um, so 
Now this next one you may have seen a few times in some of my other videos. Uh, I think the last two new wands day, this was a, uh, a work in progress or a, a TBF to be finished wand. Um, so here it is. This is um, the Applewood uh, wand and I've made a couple changes to it and I think it came out pretty good. I, I, I like, I pretty much like everything about it. It's uh, It has this nice little natural bend to it. And when I put natural bends in things, I always like to give it a little extra swoop at the end. Um, I don't know, I just, as, when I when I draw things, certain things I just, I just, I always like that. I always like, I like aesthetically, I think that looks really good. The ratios are a little weird, mostly because it's a fairly short wand. I believe it's only about 12 inches, maybe 11 and a half. Um, but it does have a lot of these little twists and then all the little dimples on there. Um, and it, I think it came out pretty good. I put a little bit of a, of a red um, finish on it with, uh, with some black, just kind of like wanted to dirty it up a little bit, make it make it look unique and a little different. Um, I think it came out pretty good. The way that you get these kind of patterns like this on here, first thing I didn't sand this like perfectly rounded off. I, I kind of left these flats on it because I planned on doing this. Um, and then once I did the coloring, I went back in and lightly started sanding it so that the high spots would um, would kind of sand away the color. And then that just leaves me with the um, with that pattern right there. And the same thing goes for right here, just to kind of get that contrast between the darker lower sides and the lighter light, the lighter high sides. I think I said that right. I hope you guys understood what I meant. Um, this one was a lot of dremeling, a lot of figuring it out, and uh, it came out pretty good. If you guys follow this channel whatsoever, you know that Paduke is one of my favorite woods to work with. Um, do I have any other? I have two Paduke wands that are coming up. So uh, the first one is this little guy right here. Uh, so this one has a, a somewhat similar handle to to this guy, right? Where we have a lot of these uh, these circular flats. Circular flats, man. I, I know my way around words so good. It has these uh, flats, not really flats, right? I, I don't know what you would call these uh, con, concave um, sections here that are done with a circular uh, sander. And basically it kind of goes all the way up here. And then we have a, these are basically kind of straights, like straight flats here. Um, and then I went in and burned it a little bit because I love the smell of Paduke burning. It's just one of my favorites. I wish I could just have a have a candle and a, a fireplace made burning Paduke. I don't know if it's bad for you though, so maybe that probably is why people don't do that. Um, and then here we drilled some holes. We these are actually I believe maple dowels. Um, it's actually a long maple dowel cut down, stuck in there, drilled a hole, glued them in, sanded it down got these nice little domino, almost domino effect to it. Pretty happy with it, thing came out pretty good. And then I did this uh, four, uh, four pronged end and it, I think it came out pretty cool. You could see these, these cool natural cracks that the Paduke has. We got one right there with, a, with like a big little chunk broken off of it right there. Um, I, I think this one's super cool. It has the same thing that this one has where it kind of feels, it just has little notches for your thumb. Uh, you can kind of hold it wherever you want. You can even do this. I wouldn't say it's this type of wand. I would say it's a traditional uh, grip wand. Um, definitely not a pommel. Definitely a more elegant wand and for a more um, delicate wizard that's not gonna be breaking this thing because it is somewhat fragile, um, especially since it, it does have some pretty thin handle parts to it. I kind of did the same thing here too. After I burnt it, I went in and, and sanded it a little bit to just give it that highlights, those those little those little parts that pop. Um, give it a little bit of contrast. If you leave it flat, you don't see it as much. Take for example here, um, this is Mika Chi's wand and it's made out of Paduke as well, um, but no burning and no sanding down. You can see, you can still see the pattern, but you can't see the highlights as much. It looks a little bit more flat. Um, still looks great in my opinion, but this one, just to get those little details in there, you can see them a little bit more, um, the nooks and crannies of it. So that's why, uh, that's why we did that. If you recall last New Wands Day, I mentioned um, there was a poll. You guys got to vote 
for the yuan that you wanted me to make and they were submitted by Joe from Barcelona. I basically made pretty kind of, one of them I kind of strayed away from the design um, because it wasn't working. The, the, the size of it, the thickness of it just didn't work. I had to trim it down a bit. Um, so I kind of strayed away. The other two, I pretty much stayed pretty true to them. Let's start off with the one that's the most different, this one. So what I decided to do is, um, obviously I, I did this wrap on it. I believe it's for sewing leather. Um, so you can, you know, make leather products and stuff like that. I just like it cause it's uh, it has like a kind of, almost like a waxy finish to it. I left this on here. Um, I just thought it'd be kind of cool. I kind of, I kind of felt like it was like a, like a kunai, like a kunai ninja knife type thing. Um, but we didn't, we have this, this nice twist here. This is actually made out of ash. I almost forgot. Ash has this very, um, bone like texture to it. In my opinion, I feel like this twist, it, it almost looks like a horn or something. Um, it's, it, it kind of looks like a horn to me. And I would say that it, it's kind of just the, the grain of ash and how it looks. And, um, I burned this one a little bit and then sanded it to try to kind of get the, um, to get the burned ash into the, the little grooves. So that's what you see here, like all these little things. And that's, in my opinion, what really makes it look more like like bone. Um, so it has a little cut out here. And then the this wrap goes all the way up. It actually goes one layer all the way up. And then I kind of did this, uh, this looser twist coming all the way back and then wrapped it around here a bit. And then just put the little dangler, the little dangler at the end there. Um, I think it came out pretty cool. I think it's, uh, it definitely strays away from most of my designs, which I always like to do because I always like to just experiment and try to learn things, which I learned a lot from this one. I, I definitely was one of the, uh, definitely a learning experience when it came to, to making this because I was trying to figure out how to make this wrap here. And, uh, I think it came out pretty good. I think, I think it's pretty decent guys. You guys let me know what you think down below. And Joe from Barcelona, you also let me know what you think. I think this was the second highest voted one. Um, this was the third. And then I believe this one was the second highest voted. So uh, here it is. This one's a little weird, right? Because um, it has this like, this right here, this dirty, dirty section to it. Um, I believe it looks pretty close to the original design. Um, I dirtied this up a bit more um, just because if it was like perfectly white, I mean, it wouldn't really last very long. Um, and then I put a, there's actually a clear coat on it so that it, you know, kind of stiffened it up a bit. Um, Cause I didn't, I didn't want it to be too, I don't know, I just didn't want it to be a loose tie on there. So I, I did that. Um, I think it came out pretty decently um, accurate to the, to the drawing. Um, I really like how these came out, these little wooden parts to it. Um, it's supposed to look more like a branch. I burned the ends of them a little bit. I don't know, I thought it would look cool. I also burned where the wrap meets the uh, the, the rest of the wand um, to kind of just make it look like, I don't know, it's patching something up. I, I thought it would look cool. And then there's all these little grooves running all the way down all over it to kind of make it look more like natural grain, like natural wood grain or natural bark um, that has all that texture to it. So that was pretty much all done with a Dremel. This one was mostly just all cut out and then um, some holes were drilled and then the Dremel lane where it went for a while, trying to Dremel everything in there. We got the little duck swoop at the end here. This wand is, you know, has a nice large handle um, just so that you can, you know, grip it well. Uh, no, no real guard, um, no real pommel really. Um, just pretty much handle and blade. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a cool wand. I definitely think whoever picks this one up will, uh, will appreciate it. It's, it's definitely, definitely one of my favorites. Definitely, I mean, I feel like all my wands are really favorites. I like all of them, but this one's different. Um, I've never used a wrap like this on it. I, you know, you could easily just cut it off if you really don't like it, but you know, there are some, it is kind of glued in there. So if you do pick this up, I wouldn't remove this. I wouldn't plan on removing it because you're gonna definitely ruin it. Definitely different than a lot of my other wands. 
Um, that's why I like when you guys submit things because if I really like a design, I will possibly make it. And remember, if you guys do wanna submit it, submit them to newwansday at gmail.com. And um, I do look at all of them. I don't respond to any of your emails, but I do look at all of them. And um, don't worry about sending them over and over. You don't have to do that. I do plan on someday. I, I probably already have like over 100 submissions. So if I end up making that video with all of them, it's gonna be like a two hour long video of me talking about your wands. Let me know if you guys wanna see something like that. I feel like, I feel like you probably don't. Uh, maybe I should divide them into a few, a few, a few videos. Now the next wand is going to be um, another one. The third, the I guess the first, the third wand from Joe's uh, drawings, um, and it's going to be the third wand that uh, the, I guess the first place wand that you guys voted for the most. Um, also made out of Paduke, and I think it came out. Uh, Pretty good. I think it came out pretty accurate to the drawing. I removed, I believe this one had uh, one extra little, uh, little, I don't know what this is, branch piece right here. Um, but I ended up removing it. Uh, I just, I didn't want the blade to have too much going on on it. I, I also didn't want it to be perfectly rounded. I definitely wanted it to be a little bit more just rough around the edges and kind of just give it a little bit more of a like, grooved look and squared off a little bit. Um, this whole end here was originally burned. I, I, I made an original burn on it, right? To kind of just made, because here's what happens with this wood, what I've noticed at least. Um, the grain kind of opens up and you get these little like dimples almost um, that show up on the wood. It just makes the, the grain pop a little bit more. And then I actually went in with uh, with a bit of, of acrylic paint and then painted it up. And then um, most of this right here is natural burning. Uh, that's where the fade goes from the dark to the light. The rough cut was cut out, and then the uh, and then it, most of it was sanded down to a general shape, and then uh, dremeling all the way down. Um, if you look at the handle here, there's actually this little scoop scoop right here. There's actually this little this little beginning of this wrap, and then it wraps all the way down. So basically, this here is let's see, three wraps. Yeah, so basically this here is three different uh, sections working its way down. Um, and some of them, one of them stops here, the other one here, the other one here. So there definitely are different, um, you know, parts to this. It's not just one twist. A lot of times when people draw things like this, like twists, they don't realize that um, you can't just have the one twist go all the way around. It was almost like that. that's how it was drawn. Um, so I kind of had to make it make it work so that it wasn't like that. Uh, what I just realized is that I have all three of your wands have holes in them. They're all holy wands. All of these should be going up on the shop. Is that all the wands that I have? Se is it seven? I think this is seven wands. Yeah, seven wands. Oh, wait, I do have one more. Um, so this one started off completely different. If you guys... Uh, if you guys are patrons, you probably saw the original version of this one. Um, it was similar but different. If you didn't see it, go back to the uh, to the page and just scroll down, and you'll see it. It's right next to one of to this wand and one other wand. I forgot the other one that was with it. Um, but it started off. I I posted that picture. I didn't love it, so then I decided. I said to myself, "Self, we got to work on this." So I worked on it. I made it look worse, and then. I put it aside. I was like, I'm gonna just throw this thing out. I hate it. And then, and then, obviously, I'm super stubborn. So I decided. I said to myself, self, let's give it one more shot. So I did, and now I love it. I think it came out great. I uh, I fixed it. I fixed the problems that I had with it. I added the details that I wanted to bring the handle out. It just. I'll explain to you guys in a sec. Here it is. Um, and I I really like this one. I think it came out really freaking awesome. Um, so. This was the hard part that I had here. So this um, was completely different in the uh, the original design for it. Um, it was it was extremely different, and I was trying to figure out. I wanted to bring some of this metal to the to the grip or the handle somewhere, and this is what I figured out. Um, so what this is, it's actually wire, but it's actually the wire that you use to hang um, like a large photos or large frames. Um, so it's the metal wire um, and that's what this is. So there's actually um, 
a hole that goes all the way from one side to the other side. And then I just cut out four little uh, U-shaped pieces and glued them in there. So that's what these are. And uh, what they, the way that they work is I basically took a small piece and stuck it in on one side, glued it in, and then went all the way through back on the other side. So it's kind of making a circle and then glued the other end in so you can't see any of the uh, of the ends. So it just looks like it's uh, endless kind of going all the way through like a, like a ring. Um, and I think it came out pretty good. And it definitely brings out the, 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 the silver on this side and just brings a little bit of that silver to the handle. And there's actually one little silver spot right there. It's actually a little nail that's in there and then um, and then sanded down flush just to just a little accent, just a little thing. And then we have some little some little scratches and stuff in here and this is all um, brushed a brushed look and uh, it came out nice. I really like it. If you don't count my original Pottermore wand that I made that had the uh, the solder on the back, um, this is my second wand. I don't count that one because that was before I really started making wands. Um, that was when I was dabbling. Uh, so this is the second wand that I made that has uh, metal accents on it. And uh, this is definitely going to be going up on the shop. And uh, I hope whoever picks this up really likes it. And please don't break it. Don't drop it. This is made out of iron wood. Um, and it's super, super cool. I don't know if you guys can actually see the grain. I gave it this... Um, Almost uh, not a gloss, but a, a semi-gloss um, bordering on gloss because I wanted it to be more elegant. I wanted it to be more of like, you know, the nobleman's um, or noble woman um, uh, wand. You know, kind of just something that's super fancy and uh, elegant. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was everything that you wanted it to be. And um, I hope you guys subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment down below. Whatever you wanted to say, I don't mind. You don't have to tell me which one was your favorite. Um, I would say I am. I really, really like this one because I worked so freaking hard on it. And I'm just glad that I finally got it done. I was so discouraged from this. There were days that I came up and worked on it. And then I just, I was like, I hate, I hate myself. This is the worst. I can't, I can't believe that I made such a piece of crap. And then eventually I figured it out. So it's worth it guys. Just hang in there. Keep, keep trying, keep working on stuff because sometimes you let yourself down, but you just got to keep trying and you'll let yourself up. And I hope you guys stay tuned for some more wand related videos and book related stuff. Cause we do book stuff on here too. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Like the video if you liked it. Bye, bye, bye.